John here. Um, as you know, last week I chopped this video into two parts because it was 50 minutes long. And so this is the second part of the video where we are trying to implement the basic physics engine into the lunar lander uh, construct. So without any delay, here we are with part two. See you in a bit. Bye. So this is where we start implementing the physics engine. So what we're going to do is we are going to um, basically put a loop in there. So what we need to do, we need to set up the, the properties. So V equals velocity. So we're going to start velocity with naught. So it's going to start with naught and we're going to make gravity and it's equal to, th we're going to say it's three and we're going to say thrust is equal to six because thrust needs to overcome gravity. If you made thrust only three, you would just stop the rate of descent from increasing and we need to decrease the rate of descent. Right? And then what we're gonna do is we'll, let's see, we'll put a loop in there for delay equals one, naught to 1024 next so we want to say right that's the second that's the second right so we need to calculate the velocity again so k um, we'll say the velocity so velocity equals whoops 100 velocity equals velocity plus gravity and then y is equal to y plus velocity and we're going to end it with 255 because we don't want we don't want to when we poke it we don't want to break the break the computer so then we need to poke the, the in this particular case it's going to be the y value because we're not doing anything with x so poke and y is five three two four nine comma y and just so we know what's going on one two one oh two four comma Don't need to. Don't need to do that. And then we just need to loop round. So go to, and we need to loop it back round to ninety. So it does the delay again. So this is what what's going to happen here is the ship's going to start falling. As soon as we run it, the ship's going to start falling. But it's going to work. It's going to do it in second intervals. So here we go. Boom, and away we go. Draws the ship. Here we go, and it's starting to fall. And as you can see, the, the jump is getting bigger and bigger and bigger as it goes down. There we go, it's off the screen. Oh, look, it's back on the top. And the only reason for that is because we're and we're making sure we don't blow the thing. But as you can see, the rate of descent is getting bigger and bigger. But the problem is, that's a bit unplayable, really. <laughs> because one second you're there, the next set, you know, one second you're there, the next second you're here. And we, we want some smooth motion going on. Now that's that's the thing about when you have to work out is that you have to start thinking about time intervals. So if we go back to the plot here, this is what's happening now. So we're working it out at each interval. So what we need to do is we need to um, reduce our time interval. So in this, is where we divide the time. So instead of working it out every second, we work it down out every half second. And because you put the extra steps in, you make it a bit more smoother. And this one is working it out every quarter of a second. And it's even smoother, it's almost like a line. So what we're gonna do is we'll do that. But the thing is, right, when you, to do that, we've also got, you know, 
If you're if you're every second we're applying gravity of three, that means for every half second we've got to apply half the gravity and half the thrust. So, so if we're to half the time delay, so we're going from 1024 to 512. So we're saying that three divided by two and six divided by two. So if we run this. We should find out that our refresh rate, our refresh interval is quicker. There you go. And it's a little bit more smoother. So, but it's still got big gaps and we want this sort of smooth. Yeah. So we need to divide it again. So it's every quarter of a second, which means then that we have to divide the gravity by four and the thrust by four. So do it again. And this should make it a little bit more slicker. There we go. And we can make it make the we can make it even more. So you know 128. So that means we're going to divide this by eight and that by eight. So this is now, instead of every quarter of a second, it's every eighth of a second. So if we run it, yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit more, see, a bit more smoother. Still got a bit of jumpiness in there, but that's because we got to then now, you know, um, work out how far we can go before we say right that's enough so let's uh, take it down another notch so let's instead of, so instead of being eight we'll make it 16 so we divide one two eight by two which is 64 and make these 16 and 16 so we are updating that lunar lander 16 times a second there here we go See, it's getting smoother, it's getting there. So we could drop it down even further, 32. So we end up with updating it 32 times a second. 32 times a second. There you go, that's a bit smoother as well. So we'll, we'll leave it at that. So I think that's for a basic program that is perfect now the thing is we want to be able to control the lunar lander now I've just looked you know we're 38 minutes into this so but admittedly <laughs> I think 10 minutes of that was me trying to draw the sprite so what we're going to do is we're going to put some controls in there uh, to, to basically allow us to put some thrust onto it yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to apply the thrust uh, marker to it to see if we can slow the um, the lunar lander down so what we need to do is we need to after it's done its delay we need to you know 100 we need to be able to read the keyboard. So what we're going to do is we're going to read the keyboard A equals peak 197. So that's the byte where all the keyboard instructions go. So we're going to read that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. Let's uh, let's move this up a bit. So uh, let's make this 200, 210, 220 out of the way right so one more no so we're going to test so if a and we want to make the thrust be the space bar and the space bar when you peak 197 is 60 then we are going to decrease the velocity so velocity equals velocity minus the thrust and then we want it to go to uh, see we want to bypass the gravity 
angle. So I wanted to make it go to 210. So that's bypassing gravity's influence and then update. So we should be able to slow this thing down. All right. So I made it the space bar. So here we go. So it should start moving. Ooh, syntax error in 110. Okay. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Ooh. Forgot that. Right. Try it again. Yeah. Let it start. Look, oh, slowing down. Slowing down. Hopefully, it'll start going up. I'm not hitting it fast enough. There you go. So it's starting to go. Let's stop the space bar. See, let gravity starts taking over and it comes back down. But it's not brilliant because it's not responsive enough. It's not responsive enough because I'm pressing the space bar. So what we need to do is in the future video, the next video, is we need to we need to machine code this. Get the um, lunar lander working by pressing the space because if you notice, if I keep my if I keep my finger on the space bar, right? So there we go. So it starts. It's going to start dropping. That's me. I've got my finger on the space bar, and it stopped. The basic program has just stopped working because it's not refreshing the screen. Now I don't know if that's the emulator because you know I don't know. But we ought to. Try <clears throat> I could try this on the real fit, uh, the real 64, and see if it does that for real if I keep my finger on there but it for some reason it's not refreshing the screen so here we go we're starting with the basics of <laughs> stop that <laughs> starting with the basics of lunar lander so I'll put in the um, other commands to make it do X and Y and all that jazz and um, you can see that we'll be able to move it and stuff. So I'll just carry on that. I'll speed. I'll speed through it for you. So I've put um, some extra keys in there. So basically we've got for left and right DNA and up and down W and Z. So we're not going to apply gravity. We're just going to see if we can move the lander around the screen. So here we go. So A and D, A and D, Z, W and Z. Here we go. So they're the controls. So what we're going to be using is those two and thrust. Now thrust's not going to be. Uh, working on this because we don't All right so so this is a primitive land, uh, lunar lander program in written in basic and what we're going to do is we're going to um, put this into machine code to make it make it do more intervals to try and make the lander uh, movement smoother and hopefully we're going to start building the lunar lander based on that physics engine that 
that we've been talking about and end up with a neat little game afterwards. So I'll leave you with that and I'll see you in the next video to talk about making it into assembly. Take care. Bye. I'd like to thank all the Patreons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.